I think that I draw three main conclusions from this conference. The first one is about uh, the actors. We have seen these days a lot of people representing different constituencies with a very similar view, not just to go beyond GDP, but to develop measures that can be used not just by policymakers, but also by other decision makers, including citizens, including ourselves as individuals. We heard about uh, civil societies initiatives like local communities, associations who have developed measures of uh, progress, of uh, well-being and so on. We heard uh, about the commitment of some governments to take this forward. We heard uh, uh, representatives of parliaments, not just the European Parliament, to uh, associate themselves to this effort. We heard the international organizations we heard statisticians, and also we heard some representatives of the uh, business world, media, and citizens. How to bring these different constituencies all together, this is a big challenge, and is one of the points that I would like to suggest for our discussion this afternoon. But it's clear that we have a lot of actors involved and committed to take this agenda forward. And the risk is that we increase confusion instead of uh, uh, increase cooperation and collaboration. We have to find a way to work together and uh, give a sense to the final stakeholders that we are working together and not fighting each other, as somebody said today, that our world uh, is too much oriented to compete and in some cases to fight. Second point, measures. We have heard about uh, different approaches and my personal uh, con conclusion and uh, summary, again, for discussion this afternoon is the following. Single number? No, it's not a solution. We cannot reduce the all complexity of our world to a single number. GDP is not the right single number, but there is any other single number that can really represent the uh, complexity of our world. We heard uh, some uh, positive words about composite indicators, and I think that we should share this view. Composite indicators can be helpful, do not answer all questions, but they can help. In the short run, key indicators were quoted as a, a possible solution with uh, the possibility of giving good answers with some weaknesses, but I heard from many speakers that key indicators are used and are seen as a possible way forward. The long-term solution, and we have to accelerate as much as possible this transition, is to extend uh, the economic national accounts framework to other domains. We have done a lot on the environmental side. The issue here is mainly implement what has been developed. On the social side, human capital, or according to others, social capital, we are still lagging behind. And, but it's clear that in the medium long term, the extension of national accounts seems very promising, although costly. Final point, it's not enough uh, to engage people, it's not en uh, enough to develop good measures. We need to invest on communication and empowerment. These two key words were mentioned several times. We need to engage people. We need to help people to understand the, the world which they're living and their society. We need to increase accountability of governments. We need to invest like uh, in tools like those that Hans Rosling showed to us to allow people to transform information into knowledge. Again, this is a big effort. It's not just about statistics. It's an investment in public good, which is common knowledge. 
I stop here my uh, intervention. I will come back a little bit later on some proposals for the way forward, but I want to give now the floor to the first speaker this afternoon. And uh, Walter is a very well-known um, chief statistician, but also he has been working a lot for many years on green accounts. And so his heart, let's say, is very close to what we have been debating these days. 